I'm going to show you how to create a page in your cycle site, how to add content to it, including text and images, as well as how to add component to the page after it has been created. To start, log into Sitecore. Next, navigate to the parent page. For example, content, your site's name, home, and then the parent page. Right-click on the parent page and you will see a menu. Click on Insert. You can choose the page template you want to insert from the list of templates that appear in the menu. You can also click Insert from Template and look for the template you want to insert. In this case, I'm going to add a simple content page. So I will click on this template in the menu. Then I'm asked to insert a name for the new page. Once the page is created, you will see a form in the right side. Now you can start editing the fields to personalize your page. Insert the page title. Then you can select if the page will be included in main navigation, the sitemap, and if it's going to be indexed for search. To do this, click on the corresponding checkbox. In this template, you can select the text that will appear in the top navigation menu and in the breadcrumb. Insert the name as needed. Now I'm going to insert the content for the page. First, I will insert the heading. For the body of the page, the field shows show editor link. If you click on it, an editor will be shown. This editor is very simple. It even has the same basic edit buttons as Microsoft Office. Now, let's add some text and add some formatting. If you know HTML, you have the option to click on an HTML button and edit the HTML code. To switch to the default editor mode, just click on Design. From this editor, you can insert images. Sitecore has a media library that provides native asset management for text, images, videos, and other files. Just click on the icon for Insert Media Item. You will see the folders in the media library. Navigate to where the image you want is located. You can also upload new images by clicking on Upload button, saying Click on Browse and navigate to the image location in your computer. I'm going to use an image from the media library. So I just select the image and click on Insert. Once you're done editing the content, click on Asset button. Click on the Save button in the top menu. Now we are going to publish the page. To do this, click on the Publish menu, click on Publish, and select Publish Site. You will see this warning. Note that if you have workflow activated, Sitecore will warn that the item you want to save is in draft state. Just click on Cancel. You will see a warning in the page and also an icon next to the page in the navigation. Click on the icon and then click on Submit. If you want, you can enter a comment and then click on OK. 
Now the item is in awaiting approval status. You have the privileges. You can approve the item by clicking on the item and then clicking on approve. You have the option to enter a, a comment and then click on OK. Now publish the page. Once in the menu, choose Smart Publish to publish the differences between source and target database. Click on Publish and Publish process will start. After the process is complete, click on Finish. Now we will check our work. Go to the site, refresh the site, and navigate to the page you just created. You will notice that the text for breadcrumb at the top of the page and in the left navigation menu have the title I inserted for breadcrumb. The header of the page is the text I inserted for heading. And last, the body of the page contains the text and image I inserted. Some of your templates may have items in the right rail added by default. In this example, is the booking widget. Editors can add other modules to the left or right rail of the page. Let's add a Facebook component to the left rail. Go back into Sitecore and select the page we just created in the navigation. In the top menu, click on Presentation, Details, Click on Edit to add a new control to the page. Select Controls. You will see the list of controls already added to the page. Each control is located in a placeholder. For this example, the component Booking Widget is located in the right rail placeholder. I will add the Facebook component to the left rail. So I just click on Add. This will show a select rendering menu. In this menu, navigate to the component you want to add and click on it. In placeholder, insert the name of the placeholder. I will use left rail. Now click on select. You will see that the new control now appears in the list of controls of the page. Click on OK, Save, and Publish. To check your work, go to the page in the site and refresh. You will see the Facebook component added to the left rail of the page. You have now seen how to create a page in Sitecore, add content including text and images, as well as how to add extra components to the page.